All right, start to finish propane tank wood stove, easy way, part two. And this is the no weld way. Anybody can do this with just an angle grinder and a few tools. And we'll start right at the tank again. Removal valve stem. They don't want you to take this out. It's put in with a really heavy duty epoxy. And this one I've already devalved. What you're going to do is turn it on the side like this. And that, that valve is not reverse threaded. And you're going to put a cold chisel right in the valve mouth. And you're going to take a heavy duty hammer or better yet a ball peen hammer. And then you're just going to keep smacking it till you spin it right out. If you have to, you can take your angle grinder and cut the welds of this collar off so you have room. But you probably won't need to. Get the valve stem out, fill up the tank three times all the way up with water. That'll purge the gas. You want to make sure you get all that gas out because it's heavier than air. And it's going to want to stay in there. Do at your own risk. Be smart. Make sure you get it out. You can take, once you get it all purged out with water, you can take an air compressor and blow it out too, just to be safe. Next part is the parts of the stove itself. Okay, the legs. I've left the bottom collar on as a guide for the legs. The legs are tubes with the bolt inserted all the way through. Washers on both ends. Like so. The grate inside is pretty much anything you want to make it out of that's heavy duty. That one right there is a cut down grate out of an old barbecue. The door you always want to mark off with a sharpie or whatever you got, whatever you want your door. This is a different door design that I normally make because it's got this uh, arch on the top. Normally I make them like that. Then you got this heavy duty weld here on side which is actually the seam on the tank that they put together you're going to want to grind off both sides so that the door will fit flush when you put your hinge on you're going to have to space it a little bit you can see i put some washers behind the bolts and that'll allow for even clo closure of the door door latch real simple design works like that you put a spring on there so you can open and close it without burning your fingers without a disperse heat Door latch is just cut out of metal, bent, folded over that I've made. Under fire grill is the handle off the valve stem I removed with a bolt through it. This piece here is from the scrapyard. All my stoves are all recycled pieces. This is uh, the flange uh, union off an exhaust system I've cut down. You can see I've just put it right in there for my under fire. The overfire or your exhaust smoke is normally one of these uh, pipe floor flanges. This one's one and a half. You'll just drill the holes and put it right on there. Before you do that, you want to cut out this hole bigger. You can drill it, but I don't recommend that. Mark it a circle on there. And keep rotating your uh, angle grinder till you get a nice round cut. And after a while, you'll get good at it. And when you get real good at it, you can make a super cool stove like that. Perfect for an ice shack, deer blind, small garage, whatever you want. It's the same design, I've just expanded on it. The legs are longer, the exhaust smoke flange is larger, under fire is a little different. Take a look inside. How cool is that? And these tanks are 16 gauge steel, so it's going to last you pretty much forever. Any questions or comments you can post online, I'll try to answer them. Good luck.